Hello queens and welcome to World Vegan Month. So today I'll be showing you how to make this oatmeal bowl in addition to some easy peasy vegan pancakes. So if you're interested, keep watching. So to start off again, we're gonna be making our oatmeal bowl and these are all of the ingredients that I will be using for my oatmeal bowls. So starting off with some rolled oats, you guys. I love rolled oats, they're so hearty. And I'm taking this little small dish just to measure out however much I feel I would want to have this morning. And I try not to use too much because they do tend to swell up a good amount. So just be mindful of that. Now adding some boiling water from my kettle. I'm simply gonna add this and then let my oats steep until they actually thicken. And then we're just gonna place this to the side for now. So moving on, I hate to be wasteful, so I love to take my detox tea. And this is from Yogi. I love it. I love it, you guys. I drink this twice a day, morning and night. And I like to drink this really, really hot. And I also love to add a little bit of honey as well. So this is just some raw honey from one of our local businesses here in Pensacola. And I just love their raw honey. It's awesome. And I'm simply going to add the remaining boiling water to my mug. And I'm going to let that steep for about 7 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to continue on. So now for our toppings, I'm going to be using strawberries today, as you can see. And I get my strawberries from Walmart. Um, honestly, I think I only pay like $2 a container, maybe $2.50, but they're very inexpensive, hence why I love using them for my oatmeal bowls. Don't they just look delicious? I love strawberries, you guys, I really do. And now taking a banana, this dad just used a small one because I was really not super hungry, but I needed something to fill me up. And I just simply sliced the skin down the center and peel it off versus just peeling the whole banana. And I like my bananas really, really, really ripen. Um, it just helps to just give me that sweetener effect that I'm simply looking for when I'm creating my oatmeal bowls. And it keeps me from adding honey. So now we're gonna just make sure our oats are cooked. And you will notice that there was a good amount of water left on them. So if that occurs, just pop it in the microwave for a minute to just let the additional water just cook with the oats and then you should be good to go. So now let's top this bad boy. I'm gonna be using some of my favorite almond butter from Maranatha. And I discovered this about seven months ago and I have the crunchy and the creamy kind. But today we'll be using the creamy one because I just wanted the smooth touch. And it's 11 servings per container. It's two tablespoons per save serving, I'm sorry, and 190 calories per serving. So very healthy, I love this alternative. Um, almond butter is nowhere near as sweet as peanut butter. Um, believe me, if you get the almond butter, compare it towards the peanut butter and you will notice the difference. So that's why I like the almond butter. I already love almond milk as well. So when I just transitioned to almond butter, it was just natural for me. So I'm gonna be using some ground cinnamon. I love using cinnamon in my breakfast foods, you guys. It just gives it that extra flavor and it just helps just bring more dimension to the plate. So now we're just gonna add a little bit more because yes, I'm extra. And now we're gonna top our bowl with our topping. So you can use whatever you want. I just simply love to use strawberries and bananas because those two are just my favorite for my oatmeal bowls. Um, you can also use blueberries. I love blueberries. And you can also use chia seeds as well, but the toppings are endless. Just create it to your liking. Have fun with it. And then of course we want to add our very sweet bananas. Oh my gosh, doesn't this look good you guys? Delicious. This is so quick and simple, I promise you. I make this in less than five minutes every single time that I make it. And then here is our oatmeal bowl and I'm just gonna take a little bit more cinnamon and place that on top of the bananas. And there you have it you guys. This is my oatmeal bowl, easy peasy with my detox tea from Yogi. So I have made breakfast. Of course, you guys, if you follow me over on Instagram, I'm always making an oatmeal bowl. It's quick, simple, to the point. If you're like me, you're just pretty much waking up early, trying to get out the door. You don't really have a lot of time to like make a really, you know, big breakfast, but you need something to carry you through until lunchtime. If you don't bring any snacks with you to work, if you don't bring snacks with you to work, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to. <laughs> 
but yes yeah, so I like doing the oatmeal bowl because really you can just create it the way that you want to pretty much you make it the way that you want with the topping so if you don't like bananas or strawberries try it with blueberries try it with blackberries I mean you can just change it up you can put chia seeds you don't even have to use almond butter like I did you can even use peanut butter if you want to so I mean the toppings are endless you can research it I like Pinterest a lot if you guys are not following me on Pinterest I have a lot of boards over there where I pin a lot of pescatarian meals especially dinner recipes so follow the link down below in my description box if you're interested to follow me over on Pinterest but y'all I just love this oatmeal bowl and I'm just so happy that I discovered it as you guys know I've been on this pescatarian journey now for about six seven months now yeah seven months I believe and I've actually been enjoying it and even after the parasite cleanse I must say I've still been pretty much maintaining the same lifestyle so if you want something nutritional just try to plan your meals by the week and so that is exactly why I'm doing this series for the world vegan month for November because you guys know as the holidays roll around we tend to get away from trying to eat properly and I know I fall to that every single year am I not right mom every yeah. single year we all want pumpkin pies cakes and stuff like that we want the macaroni and cheese the turkey the gravy all that fulfilling stuff that we just enjoy every year around the holidays but we don't realize too that there are other alternatives that are just as good if not better so that's why i decided to just take charge for the month of november bring awareness to you guys and i just wanted to share with you a lot of recipes that i love and i enjoy and will be trying out too for the first time during world vegan month for november 2017 but i know you guys are wanting to really be like girl do you really eat this oatmeal bowl is it good yes y'all like i love this it's just so simple and quick and i really like to use really ripe bananas it just makes it better and plus to eliminate you having to add any additional sweeteners to your oatmeal bowl as well so mm -hmm. i love this stuff <laughs> And then y'all, my mom's visiting too, so this is her first time I like, actually seeing me film, so I'm excited because you yeah, actually get to see what I do, mom. So it's a lot of work, but I enjoy what I do, y'all. But this is so good. Strawberries. Mm-mm. Mmm. 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 You want And y'all, I didn't realize my strawberries were really ripe, so they're really good too. Mmm. All right, so if you do not care for oatmeal, if you're not an oatmeal person, which I do understand, because some people are just like oatmeal's blah, <laughs> rolled oats do not have any kind of flavor. I hear you. So if you do not like oatmeal bowls then what about a vegan pancake simple right yes it contains three ingredients all you need is oats bananas and either almond milk soy milk or if you don't like those alternatives you can definitely use your regular two percent or whole milk so if you're interested to see how i create these simple easy easy and quick vegan pancakes then keep on watching all right you guys so let's make our three ingredient vegan pancake this is all that you will need oats banana and simply some almond milk or whichever milk that you prefer so simply starting out with some rolled oats i'm going to start out using a little bit by little bit because i don't like to create too much vegan pancake batter so pretty much you're going to eyeball the amount that you will be needing but i'm just going to start off with a little bit of oats so probably like a half a cup one ripened banana and then for the milk i would say i used about a half a cup so you guys will see me using a little bit less or more than a half a cup of almond milk here and then i'm simply just going to put my little blender lid on top this is actually what i make my smoothies in you guys so if you have a small blender or a smoothie blender just use that for making your vegan pancake mixture so now we're going to move on to blending and I'm simply going to pop that on here and let it blend until smooth. And y'all, I'm always watching my favorite YouTubers while I'm cooking. <laughs> so I'm going to add some more oats because it was too liquidy. So you're going for the same consistency as pancake batter, literally. So just eyeball it and just keep adding as much oats as you feel you need to add to the mixture until you get the right consistency to your liking. And this is what it's going to look like, you guys, once everything is blended nice and smooth and it looks just like a pancake batter. 
So I'm taking my non-stick skillet and I'll be using some organic virgin coconut oil. I got this from Walmart. And we're gonna add a little bit of that to the pan. And you want to heat this over medium high heat. You don't want it too high because you guys will see why in a little while. But yeah, so we're gonna heat up our coconut oil and start off with our first pancake. Now the first pancake always comes out a little bit lighter because the pan's not super, super hot, which is good. But you just wanna be mindful of that when you are actually cooking your pancake. So what I'm looking for when I cook my vegan pancakes is for the edges to bubble up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon here cause I didn't put it in the batter. And I'm gonna move around the coconut oil so that way, you know how you would a regular pancake, get it to cook evenly around the sides as well as underneath. But the key that I find to cooking vegan pancakes is to not let it sit in the oil. I don't like that because it, to me it tends to make the pancake soggy. So just kind of move it over to one side. And then after like a minute or so, just check it and when it's ready, flip it. And this is what it's gonna look like. So this is pancake number one. Again, the pan is not super duper hot. So it's gonna look a little bit, you know, lighter than normal. But because we had cinnamon on the other side, this is what it looks like. So this is what our pancakes should actually look like every time when you get ready to take it out of the actual skillet. So now I'm going for pancake number two. This is one where I would definitely wanted to share with you guys because I added a little bit too much batter, but it's okay. You'll see that I made it work. So again, if you need to add a little bit more coconut oil, do so, but you see that the heat was up too high. So just make sure that you have it down, you know, to where it can actually cook the vegan pancake, but not burn it, if you understand what I'm saying. So I still had quite a bit of batter on top and I noticed it. So I just kind of made sure to just maneuver around and then I just laid the pancake flat back down, let it sit on there for about another 30 seconds or so. And then you'll actually see me flip it here. Bam, doesn't it look good? Mmm, you wouldn't even have known it was a vegan pancake if I didn't tell you, huh? <laughs> so once you get done, we're gonna remove that one. So for the last time, you guys are gonna see me do this pancake, but I wanted to bring it up closer so you can actually see. So again, you wanna use a little bit of batter. A small pancake is perfect pancake when making vegan pancakes. You don't want anything too large. And you're gonna let it actually sit in the pan and let it actually start to heat up again on the bottom. Add a little bit more coconut oil, move it around to help put the pancake, but don't let it sit in the coconut oil. You don't want a soggy pancake. That's not what we're going for. And I'm gonna add some more cinnamon, you guys. It's just cinnamon makes everything better, I feel, with vegan dishes, especially breakfast. And so again, you're gonna look for those little bubbles as you guys can see around the edges, just like you would for a regular pancake to so just know that that bottom side is actually cooking through to the center before you actually go to flip it. And then we're gonna flip and then wow look at that perfect pancake and if you'll notice very closely that the center of the pancake will actually start to puff up giving you a sign that the pancake is actually cooking on, on the downside so that way you will not overcook your actual pancake or burn it per se and then once we get done with that pancake you guys we're going to simply get ready to plate this beautiful dish vegan breakfast that I brought to you guys today. Again, this is the oatmeal bowl, quick and simple, very hearty. I'm telling you, will hold you all the way through until lunchtime. And the same thing with the vegan pancakes. I mean, delicious, your kids will love them and I hope you guys will love them too. Thanks for hanging out with me today, queens, and I'll see you guys in my next upload.